Today's video is about proteinuria and in particular autoimmune diseases, uh, any type of nephritis, nephrotic syndrome, FSGS, lupus. However, you have a lot of proteinuria, you can try this type of therapeutic diet that was done in this recent piece of research that I'm going to talk about. So, if you have it, make sure to subscribe, check out our videos, because we I just give so much stuff that you can do to help yourself with kidney disease, and it's all evidence-based, excellent stuff that you can start doing right now to help your kidney health. So, title of this research is Keto Supplemented Low Protein Diet, a Valid Therapeutic Approach for Patients with Steroid-Resistant Proteinuria during early stage chronic kidney disease. It was in the Journal of Nutrition and Healthy Aging, April 2016. So what they did was that people who had a lot of protein area, they broke them up into two groups. Each group had about 50 people. The one group, they gave a low protein diet supplemented with keto analogs of essential amino acids. The second group, they just told them to follow a normal protein diet. Uh, with the keto analogs of essential amino acids. Now, what they found at the end, here's a conclusion, is that, okay, supplemented low-protein diet is both nutritionally safe and beneficial, providing nephroprotective effects for early-stage CKD patients with steroid-resistant protein urea. So, um, this, anybody can do this. You do have to buy the keto analogs of essential amino acids. The one drawback is the price on these, um, but it is an option. It's an option out there that a lot of you people can do that you can try. Anybody that's got a lot of protein urea and some kidney issues can try this for a short while and do a before and after blood work. They did nine months in here and the people on that uh, supplemented low protein diet did much, much better, higher rates of remission, partial remission than people in the normal protein diet. Now, keto analogs, okay, they're, they're not new to, uh, a lot of parts of the world, but they're fairly new to the U.S. They've been around for 30, 40 years. Uh, even longer than that, they've been around, they've been around since the 50s, which is not commonly used in the United States. They are becoming more commonly used because they just updated some major uh, medical guidelines. Actually, it was about a year ago they updated them that people should try these type of, this type of diet if you have kidney issues. And make sure you're monitored by a doctor. Now, these keto analogs are medical foods all right, so they're um, like supplements, but uh, in a little higher category. So there's only two brands really that you can get in the U.S. of keto analogs of essential amino acids. That's Ketorena. Okay, that's one company, K-E-T-O-R-E-N-A. That's one. The other company is Albutrix. That's the product. It's uh, A-L-B-U-T-R-I-X. Okay, that's Albutrix. The other one that's been around for a long time is it's it's generally in other countries. People would have to import it here to the U.S. when they wanted to use it. Is keto sterols, so K E T O S T E R I L S. Okay, so those are the three types, the two main ones in the U.S. Okay, these are excellent if you're going to do a low protein diet or a very low protein diet. Actually, you should use these. The other options, essential um, other options, essential amino acids, uh, but they're not as good. They're just not. All right, keto analogs of essential amino acids are about 30% better over essential amino acids. Um, but it is an option. The drawback is cost on the keto analogs. You can read more about them by going to our website, checking out our um, section that has our pure kidney product. And from there, you can read about uh, a keto analog, the Albutrix, you know, which I'm associated with. Um, either one is shown okay. okay. Both products, they got their own unique uh, features but you can read about both of them. That's Albutrex and Ketorena with a low protein diet. When you want to look to go into remission or at least partial remission with any type of disease, that is autoimmune, definitely nephrotic syndrome, nephritis, okay, lupus, FSGS. Check out our other videos. They talk more in depth about low protein diets. We have more about keto analogs. Thanks for watching everybody and to your best kidney health. Bye.